This video features an item available for pre-order or purchase at Big Bad Toy Store. Check out the link in this video's description to visit their website. Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatches Nut here, and today we're going to take a look at the Jada Nano Hollywood Rides G.I. Joe and Jurassic Park vehicles. Now, the G.I. Joe set includes the His Tank, Vamp MK2 or Mark II, and the Snowcat, while the Jurassic Park set includes the 1992 Ford Explorer, 1992 Jeep Wrangler, and a helicopter. A apparently very generic helicopter with no actual name. They could have picked so many names. Anyway, when we get back, we're going to take a look at these six little vehicles. So here we have on the left the uh, G.I. Joe. And then on the right is the Jurassic World. Now, I'm going to say Jurassic Park because these are Jurassic Park vehicles. I don't know why they... I mean, I guess because of the new movie coming out, they figured they'd brand it with Jurassic World. Though technically, all these vehicles are Jurassic Park. But of course, uh, they all belong to the Jada Hollywood Rides Nano line, which are die-cast mini vehicles on the line of the same macro machines. And if you see on the left side there, I have the Back to the Future ones I previously re reviewed, of course, and then Transformers on the right. They were reviewed together because, I mean, what is there to say about these little detailed vehicles? Now, we'll start on the G.I. Joe side, and this is the Hiss Tank. And it is a sleek black thing. This is what we come to expect from, I guess, the upcoming Megatron G.I. Joe crossover. So he'll have something along the line of this form. And of course, here's the bottom is like little wheels and uh, Cobra sy uh, symbols everywhere. Number 788. So pretty nifty. I don't know if the turret's supposed to move a little bit like this, but it, this one does. I'm not going to force it. Although that brings me to my next uh, thought because I'm looking at the vamp here and I thought maybe it's turret spun. It does not. It doesn't go up or down or anything. And it has like some cheap wheels on it. Uh, weird that it has a rivet and a screw. They're different colors. Interesting. Um, it has a... So what's it say there? 4G DP. I can barely read it. It has a scorpion on it. Uh, anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, moving on. We have the Snowcat. And I cannot even begin to read what it says on the side here. Uh, its turret does not move, but it looks pretty neat. Uh, it has a nice little set of treads, although again, just a roller on the bottom here. And um, they roll really good. Although this tire, these tires feel a little loose, and like, and they and they rub against the 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 hub here. But otherwise, yeah, they're pretty good. And then we get to the Jurassic Park. I'm going to say it over again, park vehicles. And this is the 1992 Ford Explorer, which of course is from Jurassic Park. It says Jurassic Park on this side. This is from the Jurassic Park movie. And let me show you something. This is JP93. It is a transformer. It's part of the Jurassic Cro uh, Park crossover. As you can see, here's a robot underneath. And uh, it says Jurassic Park. And we compare the details. And... Uh, they line up pretty well. Uh, the Transformer here looks pretty close to the vehicle. Actually, even the number 04 on here, it's actually darn near identical. So good work, Jada, on matching that up. Of course, this gun is part of the robot, so it's it's not really something that comes with a vehicle. Um, oh, no painted taillights. Oh, it was so close. But uh, if we... We'll put this aside for a sec. And again, it's... Uh, it has nice tires on it. We'll put this aside. The one other thing that was, interested me was the fact that this one actually has... Oh, hold on. Or I had it spinning the other day. It had working rotors. Um, but they, they they fold over, and I guess it's because of packaging. But, I mean, they do, they do spin. Uh, not freely, obviously. Maybe I dreamt it. I don't know. But... Uh, it has wheels on it, as, as helicopters have a habit of having. And uh, I can barely read the details on here. It has numbers on it on the tail here. I mean, something helicopters should have, if FAA requires it. it it's back... Uh, it's stabilizer. 
it actually moves too, but just like the propeller, it's it's not particularly loose. And uh, it looks pretty good, nice and helicopter e, helicopter e, helicopter e. So that's that's decent. And then finally, we get to the uh, 92 Jeep Wrangler. I don't have a transformer equivalent of this guy, but uh, oh wait, or do I? Let's find out. And I present to you Hotshot. He is from Transformers Siege Line, uh, War for Cybertron, of course. And uh, he is a Jeep, but not quite this Jeep. But you can see where they were targeting for this form here. Because you can you notice the winch and all the similarities on the front end. And uh, yeah, so... Oops, I accidentally pulled his arm off. <laughs> there we go. Only thing missing on the back here is a tire, but well, he does typically have like a canteen on here, but I don't I don't keep the weapons on them in storage. But uh, yeah, that's that's the Jeep here. Now all of them also drive well, I mean figuratively driving, as it were. And uh, I mean it's it's retails for six dollars a set, and so these are if you're just looking to collect like classic vehicles. These are a great way to do it, cheap way to do it. And also, like, the 66 Batman has vehicles, Fast and the Furious has vehicles. So, I mean, if you're interested in collecting small vehicles, Micro Machine style, that is the way to go. If you're looking to collect the Hollywood rides from Jada, uh, particularly the Nanos, uh, get on it now because as the sets get older, I've already started seeing them being marked up. For example, uh, these two sets on secondary markets are already marked up almost double the price when when the retail is 60 and they're marking up 10 and 12 dollars you need to grab them when you find them in store so otherwise do you have any of these vehicles do you collect any other micro machine types let me know in the comments thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe